All right, hey, hi, hello. How's it going, guys? My name is Eddie Razon, and welcome back to more Fix Fox. Now, before I begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and get the bell on to stay up to date on all my latest videos. So, last we left off, we I think we completed all the like the signal boosters around the area, and now we're back with Basie to kind of like figure out uh, where we should go next. And when we came down, there's a bunch of bots here already, so I guess. We're gonna to talk to Basie and also figure out why everybody's here. So wait, can we? Look what they've done in the place. Oh, snacks would be appropriate. I gotta bring something next time. This ain't a snack place, bro. Yeah, hey, everyone's just hanging out. Uh, okay, what's going on? We're finally here. I hope your guests will not interfere. Hey, we invite them. Can't blame them. You throw a right party. You threw a right party, Arthur. Let's get started. Wait. I know I'm just a simple bot and I don't expect thanks for us running around this lousy plant fixing little junk. But can anybody explain to me what we're doing again? What are we doing again? Our here has worked hard to extend the algorithm. But he's already made the thing before. Can't we just plug in a couple extra notes and run the same show again? He could. I don't expect a simple toaster to understand, but esoteric math does not work this way. With a different setup of notes, entirely different rules apply. I had to invent an entirely new algorithm from scratch. Good work, all of you. Now quit bickering and focus on the job. Thank you. Four nodes will be able to scan almost across the whole planet. This is great and all, but what about Vix? Did you forget about the weird thing messing with his head? I'm worried about him. Which is exactly why we have added extra countermeasures to prevent any interference. To be more exact, Arter did. He was very strict about your safety. Was he? Huh, is that so? You did that to keep Vic safe? Naturally, you're important. We still need your ship. And I can't pilot it. Oh. You mean that. <laughs> I mean, that's what I expected anyway. Well, this time, we're scanning the static for local spikes of activity. Like flame tips, gently striking out of a fire. Static for, like, flame tips. Okay. Red, you mean? The setting for this right is... Campfire. We need to prepare for the right now. Okay, campfire right. No, we're not setting this room on fire. Ah. Oh. Metaphorical thinking. Some comforting light. Maybe a little campfire music. That is that is all we need. For all the spectators, it should be easy to convey a community mood. Conveniently, if you, if you need to play some music, I have a mix board over there. Of course you do. Just put a record on and turn it up. I think this is a cozy banjo hit played around the desert. Could be worth asking around for a bar. Of course, of course. Let me know when you think the scene is ready. Uh, of course. It's never easy, is it? Okay, let's set the mood for campfire. Okay, that's like <laughs> that's like building on fire. Let's see. That's not really it. Either. Green. Yeah, you know what? That's like a nice warm campfire. Yellow and red and green do not make yellow. Do they? No, they don't. They don't. Red and green? No, they don't. Red and blue make purple. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, hold up. Hey, buddy. Cozy record. No idea. Try asking Lorevto over there. Lorevto. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. Uh, oh, with that cozy banjo tune? I love it, too. If you're lucky, I always carry a copy around. Here you go. Oh. Oh, thank God. I thought we were gonna have to, like, run off around the whole area again. I'm... <laughs> I'm not sure where I am in the game. Uh, like, how far in I'm in the game. I, um, my save file six six hours in. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long the game's gonna go. Okay, let's put in the banjo tune. Yeah. Oh, this is the banjo tune. My favorite banger. Neat. Yeah, turn it up. Oh, I remember this banjo too. This is a nice banjo too. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes, this is like an appropriate setting. Lights to music. I feel the flickering unpredictability of a flame. All right, let's do this. Excellent. The scene is ready for the right. We can start the computation. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah! Switching to burst mode. The butterflies again. 
It didn't work, Arnar. I'm still not sure what this is. Uh, new. This beautiful new melody. So many new voices. Worlds. A uh, singing of distant worlds. What is this sequence? I don't really get it. That's a butterfly. I see a butterfly. Oh, it's getting clearer. Was it always there? I never noticed. Fix? You okay? I... I felt dizzy too. I've increased intensity, but the noise field resonated back. Some peculiar phenomenon is influencing our brain. Whatever you have seen, we better course did not detect anything. Yeah, must have been the noise field playing your head, mate. Perhaps. What are the scan results? I've detected... Nothing new in the surface of the planet. Of course, but I found another thing in higher orbit. Is it Brin's shuttle? No, it's not. Basie's falling asleep again. Huh. Getting weird readings from the high orbit position. I guess there's only one way to find out. Search for beacon key. Um, fix. I um, request your assistance with exploring it. Still feeling space sick? Just stay down, I'll take care of it. All the- hey, all the- all the bots are gone. What was the reason for you guys coming in then? Just- just- just hang out? Oh, it's crap, of course. Oh, it's really hot today. Un unreasonably so, for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess it's the season, isn't it? Uh, launch. I'm gonna go to spaceship. <laughs> Salty desert. Um, sweet fields. Okay. Approaching target. It's probably not Brin. I don't think this is the end, is it? Huh, what do you know? Another satellite, see? Elevator, AUX. Uh, let's find a way inside first, okay. Let's go to space camp. Um, I'm assuming the elevator's our way in. Servo could be our way in too, actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Darn it, I can open the door. Open says me. The elevator to the hub. Gotcha, gotcha. What's this though? <clears throat> Those are fresh flowers. Does that, mean, does that mean someone's maintaining them or have we progressed so far that it's like. Hub layout seems similar to other satellites. Let's head straight for the console. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be that easy. I'm stuck. Let's try the other one. The hub? Looks like that console. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. I don't remember getting this sticker. Are you kidding me? Space station quarters blocked to pumpkins? Seems like high quality produce. Makes sense they want to hold on to it. Relax. It's gotta be a crawlway leading from one of the outer modules back to the hub. Huh. Might need to rotate the hub to get down to the south module. Rotate the hub. It's not working. I need to reset the servos manually. Some of the sound and module, but how do we get there? We can't rotate the hub. Look for service hatch. Flight site in your suit, yeah. Alright, buddy. I hear what you're putting down. Okay, good. Reset console's over here. Is it that easy? Let's reset. Let's turn the hub now. Wait, what's happening? Is it moving? Cosmic squids. It's stuck in the rotation loop. Oh, great. Quick, get back to the hub and use the rotation console again. You may need to hitch a ride in that elevator. Whoa! Alright. 
Wow, this is gonna get dizzy fast. Uh, all right, now just punch the rotation console. There, that just stopped the rotation. Donk. Okay, all right. Now you should be able to rotate the hub safely without spending the whole satellite. Then you can look for the crawl wing, south module. Okay. Is it that? Did I do? Did I do that right? Southern module. I think I did that right, right? What am I doing again? That must be the other room of this module. The other one is using the console back in the hub. Oh, do I need to rotate this so I can dock? Is that what? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't get it. It's just rotating. What? What? Uh, um, I'm supposed to turn that thing, right? That's what I want to go. Where do I want to go again? Search the southern module. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, if I turn that, then I can go in, like that. Wait a minute. Son of a gun. I rotated it wrongly. Okay, I gotta rotate it again. There we go, now we can go in. Like that, right? There you go. Ha! Here's the vent. Should we train to the hub? Okay. Whoa! With butterflies. What's that weird mass over there? You see that too? That was at the butterfly van. Huh? That did not look natural. Relax. I'm sure there's a scientific explanation. Probably magnetic fluctuation for the console power source. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Seems very odd. Be careful, Vix. Stellar mackerels. You can't back now. You can't back down now, you mean. Activate the main console. Gotcha. Boop, 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 boop. Just deny. Darn. Locked again. And no broadcasting link to the planet either. Got an idea. I've seen this on smuggler ships a lot. Look, is that a hidden compartment? What? Where? Oh. Where am I going with this? Fix. It's a sign on the wall. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Oh god, this is hate. Oh Jesus. Oh, hate ardor? Is that blood? Or. Machine oil. Storage room. What happened here? Oh dear. It's like someone vented their innermost suppressed feelings here. I feel an unmeasurable mental pressure and suffering. I hate you. Ew. Being alone in such a room, remote plan can do weird things to one's mind. This is Artar. These papers look like a maintenance log. Someone came here often to clean and fix the sick satellite. Huh. So even a maintenance route directory. Let's see. It's gotta be Bryn. Tough luck. The last few digits disappeared. At least it shows general area that it came from. Maybe that's where the Beacon Keeper had their secret base of operations. I'll put the point on your map. Of course you will. Uh, I don't think we're close to finishing, because I still need to finish the fourth bot anyway. And then you go all the way back. Oh jeez. Oh gosh, golly gee willikers. Uh, okay. Boop. Wait, what are we looking? Oh no, I gotta rotate you. That's just, that's fine, right? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Boop. Wait, can I just I can just go out here. I just need to go through there. There we go. Watch. Okay, where are we going this time? Hey, wait, we got salty desert, we got sour woods, we got spicy! Is spicy is a taste? It is, isn't it? We got salty because I, I was thinking like been through three or 
so far, I was like, it's gotta be two more tastes, right? It's, umami doesn't really count. Creepy satellite, no. Okay, salty, sweet, sour. Spicy? Uh, bitter. I think it's bitter. Launch towards the satellite not far from here. This region's in high altitude, covered mountain ranges. Herman told us about that bot rambling about haunting in the beacon keeper. He said it was somewhere in the mountains. Maybe you could ask around. Bitter mountains, I told you. Figured as much. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, folks. Testy? That's an unfortunate name. <laughs> try, try, a uh, hey, up here. Over there. Hey, what brings you to this very freezing cold? Life's rough here in the Bear Mountains. You plan to stay, you better get familiar with the terrain. Beacon Keeper? It sounds like something out of an old spooky tale, I don't know. If you're into spooky, this strange place they, they say is haunted. Oh no, we should stay away from the haunted house. Hey, there was a spirit character asking about it just recently. Yeah, very suspicious. If you really need to go there, just ask around for directions. Yes, why don't you tell me, sir? I don't know, maybe Toadie over there knows. Toadie. A bit for the northeast. Okay. Alright. I gotcha. Okay, let's see if we can fix some stuff around as well. I, I want to see what... Neto's TV. What the heck is that? Um... Something sharp. Something sharp. There you go. I need a gear slot. I can put in a cookie. And I need to dust that shit off. Okay, fruit logic. Lemon and orange. And we need to turn it back on. Okay. Statue, rubber band, or tomato. Statue. Okay. Not sure what that does. Okay. What is this one? The microwave. It's really difficult for me. Uh, stuck fan, oily. Okay. I don't even. I don't have oil anymore, unfortunately. So I can't fix this. Bye. Okay. I think let's rest for a minute. Is it because it's nighttime? That's why everything's so dark. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, the game encourages you to sleep because it gets really dark and you can't see anything. Alright, you're still here. I'm not sure what the heck you're supposed to be doing. I don't even know what this is for. This is puzzle. And then that's it. I'm packing up. Alright, northeast. Oh, sh oh, I like the sounds. They do a really good job of the soundtrack, I feel. Humble opinion, I feel like they do really well. Um, oh, scissors, that's good. Because I think I only got. Ah, there we go. Where is it? Is this it? Oh, dude, that's a spacer ship! That's, 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 that's like our home. Here's some weird rumbling clutter to the back room. Let's not go there. We're going there. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, she's just of a. Oh, you're here. Arter! I <laughs> did not see you. You again? Can you look where you're going? I'm... I'm sorry. Should you at least give fix a hand up? Your hand is... so soft. What are you doing here anyway? Um... As soon as you got the coordinates from the satellite, I took an express to blend search here for Brent. Um... It seems that he... 
She's been living here for quite a long time. This hot hot house of horror with the scary lights outside the creaking noises? The lights are just fumes from evaporating shuttle field. Probably a pipe is leaking here somewhere. Wait, are you shaking? Certainly not. Maybe I, I am a little distressed because of what I found. What did you find? What is it? Is it just like a bunch of I hate arters? I'm worried about Bryn. There was a note saying, If you found this, then I did not make it. Stasha's dream tape. I'm too shaken now to play it. Can you see use Bryn's dream play in the other room? Please. What in the heck is that? Look at this mess. He was looking all over the floor. We should stop it. Okay, well... Why is his room bigger? Fuel valve. Alright. That should do it. So it's your fuels run, out, run off into the drain. Alright. What will it be? What will it be? Bryn's Diary, number 736. How does this work? Do you plug in this cassette into something while you dream or some shit like that? How does that work? Ego loaded. Bryn. Good morning, Master Bryn. I hope you slept well. You reminded me yesterday that you want to check on your notes on the console before leaving. Ooh, look. He's a nice little ship. To do, search orbital sectors 76591 and 76593. Don't forget to check the filters on the shuttle again, dummy. Master Bryn. It's been many years since we received that message from Master Arter. He's about to land here in Caramel, the cargo supply ship, but this part of space is dangerous. Baby's not... I'm sorry, I'll mute now. The shuttle refuel console is ready. I know you don't want to hear it, but you've been searching for his cargo ship for 53 years. Even if this ship is safe so somewhere up there in orbit, Master Ar Arter's cryopod could have malfunctioned. Do you think it's maybe time to let it go? He treated you so ho horribly before you left home, I would never- What's that? Oh, it's just a weather report. Probably another snowstorm coming. You can check it out on the console over there. Bryn, make haste, buddy. Learn to sprint. Howdy, Chief. Oh, Basie, you look so different. Heading out? Better take an extra raincoat. Weather satellites report that there's a nasty storm brewing up in the lowlands. Wait, I'm reading it upside down. Ha, sorry. It's not in the lowlands. It's actually... The moon? What? What does that mean? The electromagnetic patterns look like a storm, but in space. Coming from somewhere orbiting the moon. The moon? There's a moon? Yes. Caramel has a little moon a bit further away. I know you only care about the planet and making robots and all the other wonderful toys and puzzles to keep Master Brain entertained. Oh, he made all the robots. Never mind, should we be concerned about the storm? Well, it's kind of spreading as we speak and the electromagnetic static can dis disrupt communications. If it spreads, it can fry all our satellites and block the whole beacon array. So, um, yes, it's time to be concerned. Master Brid, this shuttle is not equipped for long flights beyond orbit. He's right, boss. It can get tricky up there. That storm, we should just wait it out. What do you mean? I, I don't think it could be caused by Ma Master Arter's activities. And most likely a natural cosmic phenomenon. You should just... Yes, Master. I will repeat after you. Put all the tools in order. I am the Beacon Keeper now. Yes, I repeat that aloud until you return. Oh, Bishop. dead. He's dead. He's very dead. The Beacon Keeper spent 50 years searching for his brother's cargo ship? Such amazing determination, right? Actually, I was amazed that someone wanted to look for that horrible thug at all. Wait, you've been eavesdropping on Vic's dream player too. <laughs> sorry, I might have taken a little peek. Old habits. Um, sorry to barge in. I matched the data from that dream tape with some of my backups and I think I found that weather report? What weather report? The one I gave to Chief Brynn on that dream tape. Though I don't recall ever doing that. 
Can I also lose this memory in the grand wipe? Anyway, I think I know where he went. I'll put it on your map. Right, let's bring that crazy beacon keeper back and get this whole job done. Who's chapter 7? Where's Artur? Artur's not here. Oh, greetings, Sir Vix. Master Art had to leave, but asked me to give his sincere apology for colliding with you. What? He even sends you to do his apologies for him? Seriously, how can you put up with him? He's so annoying. Don't tell me he's installed him bidding beat his plug into you. No, certainly not. But Master Artist, after all, the master of my heart. Sorry, what? Do you love that goon? I have been there since all those years ago. It was clear, cold night, the stars shining so brightly. It was born just before daybreak. He was so adorable. I gave up my other assignment and volunteered to become his nanny bot. I guided his first steps. I rejoiced when he solved his first equation. His mother was loving but utterly consumed with her charity work. Such a brilliant, focused child. So determined and attentive to his little brother. I watched him grow and become a man. My little boy. I never yearned for anything that humans had apart from one thing. To be a mother. For him, I was as close to being a mother as a bot could wish for. Is it not natural for me to love him with all my heart? I will not keep you any longer. Part of my interruption. Cool. Interesting segue and monologue. Uh, analyze. Or analyze. Hi, I took some liberty and relanded near this weird house. Just head a bit east and you'll find me. Alright, cool. Okay, uh, you know what? I think now's a good time to leave this episode off here, actually. I don't know if this is the final... If we're actually gonna find Brain. I don't think so. Because we still haven't done uh, Lexico's bot yet. I'm assuming she or he has a bot, so... We haven't done that yet, and I'm, we haven't really explored this place. I doubt they would send us all the way here. Wait, let me just check my map. Yeah, I doubt they send us all the way. Actually, it's not that big. This map isn't that big, actually. I don't know. But yeah, I don't think they're going to send us all the way here just to... Just for us to go to the haunted house. I think there's more to it, so... this I don't think this is the end. So, we will find out more in the next episode. So for now, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, be sure to like, subscribe, and get that bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. As always, be safe, take care, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace!